Hello everyone. Hey, thank you so much for being here this week. We are going to continue on our series, all right, called Cow Tipping. Cow Tipping. We are tipping over sacred cows. Now, with that being said, we are going to talk about today the real Jesus, the true authentic Jesus with flesh and bone that walked on the earth today. But to be fair to the opposition, we've brought in our own uh, a visitor from the cow community. He came last week, things got a little out of hand, but this week we've promised to behave. I have anyway. Uh, so let's make welcome our guest today, Sacred Cow. Sacred Cow, I hear that you have something to tell the people and then let's tell the people about our agreement. All right, all right. I'm gonna try and be a little bit more calm. Pastor Charlie and I have talked about this and he's promised not to say anything about these during this entire interview. Right. I did not realize that those were such a touchy subject. Yeah, that's funny. I'm halfway sorry about last week. First of all, let's talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately. You Christians, I just don't understand you Christians. What's that? What don't you understand? I just don't get it. You guys still feel like you can do whatever you want. I mean, India. We're a big thing in India, right? <laughs> right? We're like royalty in India. Yeah. Like gods, almost. I mean, they think of you that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah, we're not in India, though. Okay, go ahead. I still just, I don't understand you Christians. I just don't get it. I mean, look over here. Look at this Jesus right here. Does he look like he would say anything bad about anybody? I mean, that's who Jesus was. He was nice to everybody. He would not say anything bad about anybody. He would never be sarcastic. He would not make offensive jokes. What do you... Okay, so... The idea that you have of Jesus is that he would never say anything negative to anybody. I mean, I mean, this almost sounds like some farce Jesus. This doesn't even sound like the real Jesus because the real Jesus that I read about in the Bible, you know, he oftentimes had things to say. I mean, he tipped over the money changers. He called uh, some men whitewashed tombs. He called another group a brood of vipers. I mean, would you agree that that fits the idea of who Jesus is? I don't know what Bible you're reading. Jesus was nice to everybody. Well, I don't buy that. Let's get into the idea of what the real Jesus is really all about. Because the real Jesus had true feelings, true emotions, true ideas. Why did you bring a cowbell? Yeah, these things have been around our necks for years. Now we're going to turn the tables on this. Would you like it? We did this in your service every single day. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the cowbell, but let, let's get into it. I mean, are you the Chick-fil-A mascot or something? I've got a joke for you. What's up? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cowbell! Oh, wow. A cowbell. Let's get back to the issue. I'm talking about the real, authentic Jesus. The Jesus that... The Jesus that really walked on the earth. Are you done? Let's talk about the real Jesus, the authentic Jesus. Could you stop with the cowbell? I mean, this is getting utterly ridiculous here today. Are utterly. You, are you serious right now? Utterly. This interview is done. This interview is done. What? We're done with what this. did I say? You promise you would. I'm done. This is it. I'm done. That's ridiculous. A cowbell. Come on, get real. I mean, hey, just scrap all this. We'll just start over. We'll do something else next week. I don't know. We'll do something else. Forget it.